If you had to ask me what my favorite scene is in this whole book, it's the sex scene. I'm sorry. Let's talk about the spoilers in Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. There are so many things that I want to talk about, okay? First of all, I am going, I am probably going to be all over the place with this section. I'm going to go everywhere with it because there's just so much. There's just so much. I'm going to start first and foremost. I want to talk about the connection between the dragons and the humans and the fact that, yes, I'm going there. Okay, I'm going there right away because I like my spice. The fact that the dragons and the humans they were bonded in that way so that when like the dragons were getting it on Zayden and Violet were also feeling it and that tension between Zayden and oh my gosh from that I was just so so hooked I was like I just thought that was the coolest thing. I know that's weird, but tell me why. I just, I loved it. I was obsessed with it. I loved the banter between Taryn and Violet and the little comments. And then especially when she started like using her powers. Remember how she had like the power of storm or whatever. And she was using it with the teacher and she realized what got that power out of her and how she was able to control her. It was uh, those emotions. And like the how turn was like, oh, do you want me to get the wing leader for you? <laughs> we waited a long time, okay? We waited well over like 200 pages in order for to get a Zayden Violet intimate scene, adult scene. And you know what? It was damn well worth the wait because that scene, that first scene when their powers were just sort of everywhere and their her whole room got messed up because of how heated it was up in there was just like, mm -hmm. I was so obsessed. That was the most iconic, most epic adult scene I have ever read in my life friggin life oh my gosh and it was in detail to the point where you can picture it all in your head but not like too in detail where it's like a little too over the top but it was enough for you to be like I yes yes thank you this is everything that I have been waiting for it was definitely not closed door it was definitely in detail you knew exactly who was doing what and what was happening and who was feeling who we knew okay we knew and I loved it if you had to ask me what my favorite scene is in this whole book, it's the sex scene. I'm sorry. Okay, the first sex scene between Zayden and Violet is going to be my favorite part of the book. <laughs> Liam and his dragon day, right? I believe it's pronounced day. Their death hurt me so bad. I mean, you saw in the reading vlog, I cried. I cried because why, Rebecca Yaros, why would you do that? Why would you create a character? Let him almost die, but then save him? Only to let him die again. And then when we found out that the whole storybook that Violet's dad told her her whole life was actually real, and that there really were these wyverns and these demon, almost like demon-like, I forgot, the venom, venom, right? Were they called venom? I know they were, they were close to vermin, but they're not vermin, venom? Bennett. I was just like, oh. I had very little minor things. The time would jump so rapidly and I'm like, why did the time jump? Sometimes I read a book and I'm like, okay, you could have made this shorter. But with this book, it was the opposite. Rebecca Yaros, you could have made this way longer and I still would have enjoyed it just as much, if not more. Sometimes weeks would happen and you know that some people would die, but she wouldn't really go into it in detail. It'd be like, oh, three weeks later, and yes, we lost 50 more people, but it's okay. It's okay, let's move on to the next thing. And I'm like, no, 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 what happened to those people? I wanna know, you know? Like, I wouldn't mind a little bit more detail. I wouldn't have minded a little bit more Instead of having those time jumps, what happened in between those time jumps? I wouldn't have minded it. I don't think it took away from the story. I get it. She didn't want to make it too long, especially how this is kind of like being told as like it's a beginner fantasy, romanticy story. Also, when Dane 
found out about Zayden and Violet. There was a missed opportunity there because when Dane found out and he was like, really, you guys, because of how much of a butthole he was, if I was Violet or if I was Zayden, I would have straight up been like, what do you think that storm was? What do you think that lightning was? What do you think we were doing? You know, I would have said something like that. I would have gone like for the kill. I would have gone for the low blow because we know, yeah, Dane likes Violet, but he's doesn't like her enough to go over his order or his rules and I hate Dane. I, I, I don't, I can't stand Dane, which sucks because I wanted to like this character and in the beginning I kind of did. You know, I even pictured him, I was like, I pictured him as that guy from To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. That, the, the, the movie adaptation for that book, you know the main guy that she ends up with at the end? That's the guy that I pictured as Dane. I would have at least appreciated a better love triangle in which I was like, you know what, I kind of like Dane too, even though I would have picked Zayden anyway. But we hate Dane. We hate Dane. I can't think of anyone that likes Dane. The ending. I... <laughs> you see how excited I am? I didn't see that coming. And I, I've been watching other people's spoilers and they're like, yeah, we saw that coming. Where? 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 Because nowhere in here was I like, yes, her brother is alive. Not one page. I never, never, never once thought that. So when I realized at the very end, very, I didn't even realize until... Hi, Violet. And then it was her brother. I bawled my eyes out. You guys will see it. You guys saw it. Anyways, you guys, that is all. I enjoyed it. I think it was the best thing to ever exist. The best book to ever exist on this earth that I have read so far in my entire freaking life. I loved it. I loved it. That is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am looking forward to, and I probably, I definitely will do a whole reading vlog for Iron Flame when that comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!